My family says, why don't you come home now? Why don't you retire and just come home? Weymouth Lake is home. Um, this is my home. How can I leave? <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't have a home right now, but you know what I mean. Yeah, this is my land. And we're going to have a beautiful home here in the end. You know that when it gets here, it's going to be beautiful. And it'll be on top of all our good memories, right? Because this is where it'll be. And that's where all our memories are. In that hole. <laughs> But this time we're going to be fire smart. All those trees are going to get knocked down. Because what are um, popular? They're just, they're just weeds, big weeds, eh? So might as well knock them down. Then we'll have way more lawn to, to mow, <laughs> which is a good thing. House was there, the deck come out to here. Then we had the covered porch was just on the other side of that lupus there. It was a beautiful big home. We tried to look after it well. I know the guys are trying hard not to wreck my flowers, but like Angie said, we, we'll move them and take them out of the way. In here somewhere is a stove, a fridge, a washer, dryer, um, a wood stove, cast iron. Like everything is waiting, 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 eh? I've been waiting for the power, waiting for them to clean up the yard, waiting for, wait, now I'm waiting for the house. I just accept life on life's terms. Like all, uh, it'll happen when it's gonna happen. Man, just be patient. I lost two of these big ones and one small one. For me right now, I can't even buy anything because I got no place to put it right now. So right now I'm also working on a tool shed where I can start putting my tools in there. So I'm working on that right now. At least I'll have some place to, to start storing stuff. And it'd be nice if somebody could give me a nice big shed. <laughs> Feel sorry for me and give me a nice big shed.